welcome back to my channel and in today's video I will be doing a flip through of all my AP biology books which consists of in class and at home notes. So starting from the bottom we have my AP biology Princeton review book. I honestly only used this to review content for in class exams and I thought I'd include it since I actually wrote a bit of notes in here for a couple chapters. Then we have my in-class notes. So these two notebooks from Muji are huge and I filled them up the first half of the year and then this black notebook is only halfway filled up. Finally, we have our three AP biology revision books, which are the books that I made in order to prepare for the AP exam. So I will be voicing over my flip throughs for a couple minutes. This Princeton workbook i annotated it i highlighted and i mainly wrote on the sides which is what i really love about these prints and review books they have columns on the sides which is great for annotating and writing extra notes and even rewriting notes so then you can make sure that you understand it and i just found it so helpful i'd write all over the page this really really helped simplify the information that i learned in class because ap biology can be a difficult subject and i really enjoyed annotating because i actually knew what i was doing when i would read this next are my in-class notes so these notes are what i took in class i would not continue them at home i always made sure that i finished my notes in class because i didn't really want to be behind in the class especially when i had other classes so I needed to write fast and I needed to fit in all the information. It was a bit messy in the beginning. I was also adjusting to the classroom environment. This was my first time experiencing a lecture lesson, which I found really fit for me. But at the same time, I still had to adjust to it. So there was just a lot of messy notes. I had to attach some papers. But then as I kept writing notes, I got used to it and felt comfortable incorporating color. Appearance does not matter at all. I first made sure that I was adjusting and writing my notes carefully and fitting every information in. And then once I found my place, I began to incorporate color and diagrams and actually try to absorb the information while taking very effective notes. I'd say what really helped me was the notebook that I was using. This Muji notebook is literally so big. It was almost as big as the desk I was taking notes on and I was able to fit so much information into it, add so many images. It was honestly so great. I had such a fun time taking my notes. So if you are looking to take effective notes, materials do matter and I found this worked best for me. transition into a new notebook but it was honestly not as bad it laid flat just like my muji one and even better it was dotted so i worked with it and i really like it if you look closely you can see that there is an existing pattern in my notes i would use the same heading style two columns per page and structure where i would put an image between two paragraphs if it deemed fit or i would organize it by concepts I found that this consistency worked so well for recalling this information, being organized and looking for information. A lot of people might say it's a waste of time, but I found my rhythm in taking notes. I was able to put in color. I was able to draw diagrams during class. So as long as you find your rhythm, then there really isn't anything stopping you from taking neat and effective notes in class. Another tip for taking effective in-class notes is making sure that the notes you're taking are tailored towards you. I am a visual learner, so I conceptualize pictures better than words. As you can see, when I keep flipping through my notebook, I add even more pictures as time goes by. I print some of my pictures, and that's just me adjusting to my style of learning. So if you adjust to your style, you can even experiment, look up different study note formats. You will be able to write your notes even quicker and absorb information even faster, allowing you to write more notes and organize your notes better in class. So saving the best for last, these are my AP Biology revision books that I made myself two weeks before the actual AP exam. This is literally my blood, sweat, and tears in the form of a notebook. It took me so long. I did enjoy making it, 
but the fact that I had to go through so many different resources and collect everything and just format it into one book was a very difficult task but I am so glad that everything is over and it came out so nice. Since I was making it myself, I wanted to add personal touches to it, so I made it all nice and colorful. I made a collage of graphics on the opposite page rather than just simple images because I wanted to incorporate some sort of creative touch to it. It was getting a bit boring just writing all the way through. I'm happy to say that it did help me during the exam. Some of the topics that I wrote about in here were on the exam so it was a win-win. It turned out pretty and it was very functional. Honestly, I just love this and I'll let you enjoy the rest. my notes from this school year for AP Biology. Just a little background, my in-class notes I took under a 90-minute class. My teacher, she is such a great teacher and so she typically lectures and makes her own PowerPoints so that's where I get my information from. And my revision notes, as you already know, I have a whole other video for that. I'll link it down below in case you haven't watched it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.